Hey Aquarius, this read is for you guys. Let's get started here and see what the universe has in store for you today. So universe, what do you got for Aquarius for Tuesday? What messages? <laughs> see, and as I get asking, everything wants to come flying up. This one for sure. Okay, oh, we have temptation. Let's see. Victory and success universe intuition foundation and achievements when i see the universe card she usually speaks to me of learning a universal life lesson and i feel like that's what you're doing here because i'm seeing so far i'm seeing a lot of cards that speak of um progression through that that journey and sort of the end achievement of it with the foundation and achievements i'll show you what that card looks like so to me that speaks of building a better life building a better future so i'm going to keep going here i have authority i have spiritual union i have harmony i have obstacles and challenges and accelerated motion. So two cards that speak to a relationship here. And well, so far to me, it feels pretty positively aspected. Um, I'm not sure how the authority card fits in. Uh, sometimes it can speak to a person who's overbearing and overwhelming. Um, I feel like sometimes it speaks to speaks to being assertive and learning to be assertive and stand up for yourself. Um, I wonder if that wasn't one of the obstacles and challenges that your relationship was facing. Somebody wasn't speaking their mind. Universe, can you clarify these cards for me with the tarot? I want to make sure that I'm giving Aquarius the messages that they need and that you intend. Alrighty, yeah, we are we are good to get going. Yeah, she's got them all over the place here. Okay, we have the nine of wands, which tends to represent um, a progression over time, something you've been working towards. I have the four of wands here, which also speaks of setting a solid foundation for the future. Um, which is why I'm starting to feel like this read was all about you and your partner uh, learning to communicate. Uh, I got the Knight of Cups and to me, to me in this read when I look at him I see the words emotional victory. And I feel like that's what's coming from the two of you being able to, to work through these obstacles. Um, I have the hermit as well, and the hermit speaks of, of introspection, um, sort of turning your focus inward, um, searching out your feelings, and really getting to the bottom of, of your thoughts, and your behaviors, why you do what you do, why you feel the way you feel. And I think you might have had to do this, I think both of you might have had to do some soul searching in this relationship. Um, I also have the Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands, um, it not only speaks of, well, obviously, bickering. You can see they're all, they're all after each other there. But it also speaks of when a situation is, is like this during a conflict, uh, using diplomacy and tact. And I almost wonder if the two of you didn't have to figure that one out. If maybe you were, ooh, that's why I'm starting to get the vibe off this authority guy. Maybe the two of you did have no problem speaking your mind, but you did it in such a way that the other person was not going to hear it. It was just really offensive. And so I wonder if you guys didn't have to learn um, a softer way of speaking to each other. So I got the Empress... And I got the emperor in this draw. Uh, 
Usually when I get them in the same line, in a read that speaks about a relationship, um, and a, and a positively aspected relationship, it, it makes me feel like you guys are soulmates. You guys are meant to be together. You guys are a really good fit. Um, also, they speak to me of a couple different things, including that the Emperor speaks of, of you learning to master your emotions. And, and I think that also goes with using tact and diplomacy when you're speaking to each other during, during an argument or a disagreement. So that the other person can truly hear how you feel without without getting defensive. Um, and I think it also speaks to you learning to hear what people have to say without getting defensive as well. Um, the Empress to me speaks of nurturing. And so I think it ties in with that as well. Uh, just a softer way of being with each other. So I did also get the Two of Swords as well. And the Two of Swords speaks of sort of um, being deadlocked, uh, having trouble seeing the clarity of a situation uh, because you're, you're very much lost in the emotion of it. And then on top of that card, I got the Tower card. And the Tower speaks of a disappointing ending. And so what this says to me, the impression that I get, is that you guys had to make a choice. And if you guys didn't choose to change, there was going to be too much hurt, too much resentment. You guys were going to be way too pissed off to forgive each other. And it was going to wind up being the end of this relationship. That you really had to choose to make a change to be able to, to save what you had. And in doing so, I don't feel like you just saved it. I feel like you strengthened it and you built it deeper. Um, I have the star card, which speaks of hope for the future. Uh, the Six of Wands, which speaks of triumph. I have the Queen of Swords, and in this, she speaks of... To me, I get the impression of personal truths. And I think both of you had to find them to help you communicate properly. Because if you don't even understand how you feel or why you're doing what you're doing, how are you going to express that to somebody else? So I think she also ties in with the Hermit and you having to do um, sort of the deeper thinking for yourself and, and learning about yourself. I got the Ten of Cups, which speaks of abundance in the home life, which I think is what you're, what you're experiencing now that you've made the change. These, this entire line speaks to me of this, of the change and the benefits that come from it. I have the Nine of Cups, which speaks of emotional abundance as well. Um, the Queen of Pentacles in this, uh, to me, she speaks of feeling rich feeling emotionally rich and I have her sitting next to the king of cups and the cups represent emotion so I feel very much that you guys have have deepened your emotional bond with each other that you're both feeling more emotionally satisfied and happier I got the Five of Cups, um, so it represents being stuck in, in negative emotions and, and not letting yourself uh, see positive opportunities around you because you're, you're feeling hurt, you're feeling lost, you're feeling guilt, you're feeling anger, whatever those negative emotions are, you're stuck in it. So I feel like that was where you guys were at. You made the choice to change, you made the choice to communicate your feelings to each other. And I feel like I have the full card here and I feel like he was sort of, he was that leap of faith that the other person was going to reciprocate because somebody had to take the first step, right? Somebody had to say it first and then you had to have faith that your partner was also going to follow through. And I believe that, that the full card represents that your faith was rewarded when you took that leap. And to me, the chariot is your encouragement to keep that positive forward movement, to keep keep going with that positive change and keep building on it. I believe you're already seeing the benefits of it. Um, and I think it's, it's only going to get better with time. Very much so. 
I have patience, fulfillment of wishes, hope, and balance. So I believe that in making this change, you've brought a new balance to your relationship, a balance of the give and take, uh, everyone being able to feel like they're getting what they need. I think patience, the patience card speaks to, um, it's not an overnight change, you both have to keep making the effort, and just in case somebody slips, to not jump down their throat, uh, to be patient and, and just keep working through it. Um, I think it ties in with the chariot as well, that positive forward movement. Um, definitely hope for the future and the fulfillment of wishes to me speaks of the deep emotional connection that you guys are getting it it being deeper more happiness more emotionally fulfilling I feel like your relationship is headed headed in a very solid direction for the future alrighty guys I hope you enjoyed the read please uh, feel free to comment I would love to hear from you like uh, sus subscribe if you want to Join the Tarot Harmony community. We are more than happy to have you. The more the merrier. Take care, guys.